Hello friends and welcome back to Zach Wright's Code. Today we're going to do something kind of cool. We are going to set up our server to serve Markdown. And we are going to do that with this thing called ParseDown, a Markdown parser in PHP. They've got a cool little page here. It's a single file, which uh, if you guys have been following along, you know that I really love simple, small, single file libraries slash classes slash tooling and this fits that perfectly um and this little demo they've got that kind of shows some benchmarks whatever so let's go back here and go to their github page scroll down to the install now you can use composer to install this but again it's a single file it seems excessive to use Composer to install a single file of anything, especially this. So I'm gonna download, went to releases, hit source code zip, extract all, hit parse down. I'm just gonna need that one file right there. So I'll open our tiny file manager, create a folder, call it parse down. Seems like a good name to name a folder uh for what we're getting ready to put into it maybe even a bit redundant but hey you know i'm gonna put other files in here so it makes sense for me all right all right okay that's uploaded we've got our parse down let's make a quick little file using the example on their github page just to make sure that it's working Create a new file. I'll just call this parse.php. <clears throat> open it up. And we do have to require, uh, we also have to open and close our PHP tags. That's always a helpful thing to do. We're going to require uh, parse down.php. We'll paste this. Our parse down equals new parse down. Now I will have to, I'm going to have to save this and come back out for a minute because I remember that this is capitalized. So I'm going to rename this because I, I just don't like capitalization on file names. I don't know why. It just drives me bonkers. So renaming that. Let's see if our parse.php works and our parse down folder parse.php. Hello parse down. Looks like that worked. Cool. So we have a cool little parser. Um, let's take this a step further though. So this is cool, but we want to be able to serve files, like literal .md files, files that are written in markup. So let's figure out how we're going to do that. And we are going to have to hack into our terminal here to make that happen. We're going to have to, you guessed it, edit our Nginx configuration file. So nano slash etc Nginx sites enabled default. Come down here and I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it right here. Seems like a good place as any. We're going to do this in the same style as our PHP. We're going to do location tilde backslash dot md data. And we need to include fast CGI dot conf. We're going to do fast CGI underscore param. If I can type script file name underscore file name dollar document root this is important here and parse down this is going to point to our parse file which right now isn't really doing anything fancy but yeah so slash excuse me dollar document root slash parse down slash parse dot php semicolon and then fast cgi 
Hmm, what am I missing here? I got a T missing. That's what I got missing. Okay, fast CGI pass. Unix, and this is just going to point to our PHP. So var run php slash php 7.4 dash fpm dot suck colon control x yes save we're hitting enter we're going to do engine x dash t to make sure we didn't ruin our configuration file looks good system control restart that looks wrong restart engine x Give that a second to refresh. It looks good. Now obviously we can keep coming in here, but what we want to try now, let's just throw a test.md. And we're still getting to our parse.php. So Nginx is successfully routing anything that we send to our server with a .md extension to that file. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is actually get our parse.php file to parse whatever file that's being requested. Let's get our URI underscore server request URI. This will give us the path that's being requested as well as the file name and yeah, so we need our, also we need our document root. So we'll do doc root equals dollar server document underscore root. Just to make sure we're getting what we expect, let's echo these out really quick. URI echo dollar, let's do it this way. Let's do our doc root dot save test md slash var ww slash html slash test md all right let's make sure this works for other routes cool so it's going to point us to our root folder of our server and then whatever uri we pass in as well as whatever testmd file or well any file with the .md extension so we're headed down the right path so let's get the file now file equals file get contents and we'll just do the same thing here we'll do doc root dot dollar uri okay and then all we have to do uh, we'll do a check here. We'll say if uh, dollar file equals false, then we will die with a message file not found. Because we know right now testmd doesn't exist. So this should fail right away. File not found. Gucci. So now it's just a matter of passing in our file into the parse down and we will be off to the races. Save. And again, our file is not found right now. So let's go ahead and create that file. We're going to create a file in here called test.md. Create now test.md advanced editor. And we'll just do a hello world header. So that should be an H1. And we're not getting, oh, because I'm asking for ASTF. So test.md. Hello world. There it is, guys. You've got your Nginx serving up markdown pages, anything with the .md extension. Pretty freaking cool. Now you guys can use that if you want. See you guys later.